Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. Today is the first day of December. That means it's, I was going to be like, it's December 1st, but obviously it's December 1st if I just said it's the first day of December, which means that it is also the first day of Vlogmas. I had said that I was going to attempt this and then today came and I was like, oh my God, I don't even have a video plan. Like, what am I going to do? Uh, so this was a very last minute, like what I'm doing today for my video. Uh, and this weekend is super hectic for me. So, uh, if I make it through this weekend, then I can foresee that I will be able to do the 25 days of Vlogmas, but, uh, we'll see how that goes. So obviously I do have my NYX Lippy Countdown Advent Calendar that we are going to break into today because it is the first day of December. So the first of the 24 days will get open today, but first I want to film the other part of the video that I had planned. Um, and then we're going to open that and kind of finish it off. Now I did kind of cheat a little bit. Uh, and in saying that, and this is in my mind, like I understand why they did this, but I also think it's kind of dumb that they did this is they put all of the lipsticks on the back. And I know that they did this so that you could like have, you know, what all the names are and see a general of what you're going to be getting. But correct me if I'm wrong, I'm like 90% sure that these are like in the order of the colors you get. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll find out when we open the first door. But like, so that's a little bit annoying. I wish it had been like more of a complete surprise. But in terms of filming this video, I did base what I'm showing you guys based on the fact that I'm pretty sure we're getting a red lipstick today. Um, I have to go to work tonight, but it should be a short shift. Uh, I am going to be the service bartender tonight, which means you are second to the primary bartender. So basically I'm there to help make drinks for the other girls. Uh, if it gets busy to help make drinks on the bar and then I should have a pretty short evening. And then I, um, I don't know how much I've talked about this, but I, every Thursday since I've worked there with the exception of when I was in the Dominican, when I was in Mexico and last week when I was like dying sick, I have worked every Thursday night close and I serve hockey teams. Now, one of these hockey teams I'm actually going to be playing on next year when I start my new job and I have nights available. So that's really exciting. Um, but they're having like their annual Christmas party tonight at one of the guys houses. And so he invited me to that. So I kind of have to do like my makeup and outfit and stuff with in mind that after work, I'm going to be heading there for a little bit just to kind of hang out. I'm not going to be there late um, because tomorrow is my niece's birthday party. She is turning 10. So I'm not going to be there late tonight. Um, I was at work really late last night, so I'm still a little bit tired. So for today, I thought I would just do a super quick like I want to call this a smoky eye, but when I do my smoky eyes, um, I don't go crazy heavy. Like I know a lot of smoky eyes can get quite high and quite dark and very out there. This is more of like a toned down smoky eye. I have actually worn this exact same look uh, in a video before and somebody asked me to show how I did it. Like they said they really liked it. So this is the perfect opportunity for this. I have got all of my makeup out in front of me. Now this is also going to be a very heavily MAC based tutorial because a lot of the colors that I have for my smoky eye when I started doing them um, I got when I only use MAC and I haven't really strayed out from there because when I strayed out into other brands I wanted to get things that I didn't already have in MAC so a lot of what you're going to be seeing in fact yeah I'd say almost all of like the shadows are MAC so the first thing that I'm doing and this just kind of makes a smoky eye easier for anybody um, I always like to prime my lids but when I do my smoky eye, I like to use a darker primer. So I've got this one in Dream Scene. I have another one that's very similar and it's in Dangerous QV. And it's like, it is a paint pot, but it's like a gray paint pot. So what that does is it gives me already um, like a base of dark that I can build color on rather than just putting it straight either on your lid or... Um, you know, I normally use my painterly paint pot before I do stuff, which is very, very close to my skin tone and just cancels out coloration or discoloration and like veining and stuff. But it does require a lot more color build up um, as well. So just keep that in mind if you're going to try to do something that you want a little bit of a darker 
result on, maybe pick a darker um, primer and start off there. So the first thing that I am going to do, and I have this like MAC uh, quad. This is called the Rainy Season Quad. I don't remember how long ago I got this or where I got this. I'm pretty sure it's not available anymore. So I do apologize for that. But um, this is what we're going to start with. So I'm going to Okay, I'm really sorry about that. I don't know what's going on with my phone lately, but it only lets me film like two to five minute segments and then it cuts me off and makes me start a new video. So I'm hoping I just remedied it. I just took a couple minutes and like completely wiped my trash can and stuff. So I'm hoping that that'll help. So like I said, I am going to go into this quad here. I want to use this color at the top. This is in the color rainy season. It's a satin. It's just a very, very light like gray color um, and I'm just going to use that as like an all over the lid color and this color if I were here I'm going to just try and show you guys like here how light it is for sure but um, because I already laid down that foundation of that dark color underneath it does make it pop up a little bit more just like that. Then I'm going to take a really big fluffy like brush and I'm going to use this with this color here. This is just a little bit deeper of a color. This is in the color Courtly Gray and it's just a little bit deeper than that first color and basically we're going to take this and sweep it up in the crease kind of a little high um because that's about the highest I'm going to let the color go off of my actual lid. Like I said, when I do a smoky eye, I have very fair features. Um, and any time that I've tried to do like those really dramatic, big, bold smoky eyes, uh, it always just looks kind of funny on me. Um, so for that reason and that reason alone... I don't like to do it like that, um, but I do like the neutralness of like all the blacks and stuff. I find especially, you know, for using a red lip like we're going to be doing today, um, it's perfect. And really, the bonus of a smoky eye, much like doing kind of like a nude eye, is that you can wear any lipstick with it and it's going to, and you know it's like going to go. It's not going to clash funny or anything like that. So now I'm going to take another crease brush and this is like a slightly more tapered one and it is dirty there's blue all over it but um, because the colors we're using are darker it's not really going to make too much of a difference and we're gonna take uh, is this the one I want no so I also said and you guys are gonna get bombarded with videos um, because I've got about three in a backlog that I haven't even put up like it's December and I haven't even put up my November top box so that's also probably coming out today with this video just because it's been sitting on my computer and haven't done it and it's getting out of control so that'll be coming today as well so another color I'm going to take is this one in copper plate and this is like a, another more toned down gray but I do just want to use it to put some uh, base color in here and the reason I was talking about other videos is because I just filmed another video for mine and Mickey's Disney series that will probably be coming out tomorrow I believe um, I know she said she couldn't upload till Saturday, so it's probably coming out tomorrow, so keep your eyes open for that. And in that video, I mentioned that when I do smoky eyes, I do most of my color building, uh, as you guys are seeing, with different tones of grays, up until the point where I have a gray that I'm going to show you guys in a second that is almost black-like, um, rather than using a black, just because... So I'm just checking that I like the way that it's laying out so far just because when you use a black it's so unforgiving um, and black shadows can also be very very difficult to build and they're kind of patchy so for that reason I do most of my smoky build up with grays so the color that I'm talking to you guys about is this one it's called typographic and it is I'll show you the black that I do have from Mac so you guys can see the difference that there is Obviously, it's not quite so dark, but it is a very, very deep charcoal gray. And if I wasn't holding the black, like, I'll do this again. So when it's next to the black, you can see that it's not very black. But if I take that away and just show you, it does look very, very dark, just not a true black. So we're going to take that and we're going to take that same brush. Look at that. This is one of my favorite MAC colors. This along with soft brown are like my two favorites. And starting from the outside, I'm just going to smoke in like between a third and I guess between a quarter and a half of a way. I don't want to go all the way in half, but so, so what's that? That is a third. 
excuse me, I'm having some issues lately. Um, and that's going to deepen up the crease a bit, also deepen up the outer corner. Now this is that point at which if you wanted to extend your the smoky eye, you could go outwards a bit more, but you'll notice that I'm keeping mine very rounded, very true to the shape of my lid, to my eye, um, just because personally that's how I like to wear it. Um, and I do think that this also makes a smoky eye a little bit more wearable when it's not so blown out and smoked out. So then I'm taking just a clean fluffy brush and I am blending all of those colors together like that. And I almost always blend inwards, uh, especially when the darker colors are laying on the outside. I do like to blend that inwards and make it seamless rather than taking um, the light color outwards, just because I find that it evens up the harsh lines a little bit better. So we are going to be using a little bit of that carbon color, which is the black that I have. I also have another one uh, in a Kat Von D palette that I really, really like. But this is, you know, the one that I use the most. And for that, we're just going to literally pat it in a little circle right there. And then bring it up and out. So this is just, you guys can see how rough I am with the motion. Um, it's not a fine science. Smoky eyes are kind of meant to be a little messy. So like, just like that, where I'm just sweeping it in, sweeping it in, sweeping it in and letting it buff itself out so that it does get a little bit darker like that. And the other thing that um, is different with the way that I do my smoky eyes versus other people is that I find I leave more of my eye lighter rather than darker, uh, if that makes any sense. Like the majority of my eye you'll see is that lighter gray and it does kind of in a gradient go into that deep dark color on the outer corners that makes my eyes open a little bit more and bolder but for the most part um, I keep my eyes fairly light because once you get that heavy handedness on the darkness that's when uh, your eye can look a little bit like you got punched in the face if that makes sense to anybody so I'm going to take that same brush and go back in with typographic and just darken it up a little bit more because I do want a little bit more of a deep color just like that Now this is the point at which also oftentimes I will take um, some sort of a color. I don't do this all the time, but sometimes it can be really, really pretty. So if you take like whether you want to do a pop of pink or a pop of blue, if you take a crease brush with that color, I'm not going to do it today just because that's not the look I'm going for, but I'll show you this on a later occasion. I'll take it and sweep that into the crease as well. And it's not super, super obvious, but what it does is it just adds a little more depth. And when your eyes, for my case, because I have hooded eyes, when my eyes are open, you can see it. And then when they're more like hooded, as you guys can see, like if I do this right now, you can't even see any of the dark I have going on. That is the whole thing with the way that my eyes are shaped, um, which doesn't really bother me that much, to be honest. I kind of enjoy it. I have a lot of lid space to play with. Um, and even when I do more dramatic looks like this, they don't look super, super crazy. So that is more or less how I like to do my smoky eye. Now, I will, of course, also be smoking out my lower lash line a little bit, but I do like to always put on my eyeliner first. So I know I normally don't do this on camera, but I'm going to try today uh, and let's just kind of see how it goes. I will need to do it into a mirror though. So we'll do it kind of like this. And I didn't say, but I'm using my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liner for this. It's a felt liner. These are my favorite kind of liners. And for that, I'm just trying to stay as close to the lash line as I can. You guys know I don't wing liner, but that would also look beautiful. I think, however, if I were going to wing my liner, I would have carried some of that color a little further out so it's not such a dark, stark, like drastic contrast. This eye is always more tricky. Just like that. That was more successful than I have ever been trying to do this on camera with you guys, so yay me. 
Uh, now I am also going to take a little bit of white. That's an obnoxiously loud truck. So I have this white in Silly Vanilli. It came out with the Mac Troll Dolls collection. If you guys can see, there's like a little, little like, big troll. I'll try and do it without shadow right there. So I'm going to take um, another flat top brush and I'm going to pick a little bit of that up. And just to lighten up the inner corner, I'm going to put it kind of like that. And that'll really, really make the um like the gradient gradient excuse me and the contrast very different and also open up the eye a little bit more by adding an inner corner highlight not a ton of white that's the other thing i like to stay away from um back when i first started doing smoky eyes like six seven years ago when i first started trying to do this i would cover my eyelid in white as opposed to gray and then try and work up into gray and there's just it's too hard a lot of the times to blend a white into another color seamlessly where the white doesn't completely disappear or completely take over the look I have noticed in my experience. Uh, so the last thing we're going to do is smoke out that lower lash line and to do that I'm going to go back into that color typographic. I actually have it in both my palette and a pan so that's why I keep going back and forth. But this is also I think what kind of completes a smoky eye for me is to have some of that color underneath and darken up uh, my lower lash line. And you'll notice I'm not going all the way into the inner corner because I want that white to be very stark and stand out a lot. Just like that. So that's pretty much that for me. Uh, the only thing left to do is to throw on mascara. So I have my Benefit Roller Lash first. Uh, you guys have heard me say it before. I like to use this to separate my lashes before I put on um, a volumizing mascara. Close. Almost got myself in the eye there but I didn't. And then I'm going to take my Benefit Their Real Mascara. And this is more or less because I misplaced my sample size of my Better Than Sex Mascara. And I want to use up some of the smaller ones before I crack into my big one. And this kind of does that same effect as the Better Than Sex. It does uh, volumize and lengthen. And to some extent, I believe it curls your lashes. And that's that. So that is the completed eye look for today. Uh, like I said, it's not a true, true, bold, crazy smoky eye. It's more of a wearable smoky eye. So then that only leads us, leaves us to open the first door on the advent calendar. Like I said, I am vaguely aware that it's a red. And when I wear red lipsticks, I like to have a liner. So I have like every red liner that I have in my collection so that I can match it when we open this. So I will do this. We will open the door. How do you open the door? Help me. Okay, so you push in the little the little tabby tabby on the bottom. And pop open the door. Alrighty, so they are mini sizes. So this is what it looks like. Just a little itty bitty guy. Put that down there. So today we got a NYX matte lipstick. And this is in the color Eden. So that's probably the color there. So I will do a quick swatch on my hand. I do really like their mattes. They are very creamy mattes. Um, so it is, it looks like more of a little bit of a blue tone. Um, I don't know, it's hard to tell because like at one angle it looks like it's blue tone. At one, it is blue. We'll go with blue. So now we're just going to figure out which liner will look the best. It's actually a pretty good match. That might be the winner right there. Let's just try a few others just to see. That's better. And I'll try one more. No. Okay, so we're going to go with my MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil. This is in Trust in Red. So I am going to really quickly line my lips, and then we're going to fill in with that lipstick. So I do overdraw my lips a little bit because if you notice, the upper part of my lip isn't crazy defined. It kind of disappears a little bit. Is this even going to work? 
I have my sharpener here. We'll sharpen it a little bit. Um, if you are going to get these Mac ones, I do recommend getting a Mac pencil sharpener. I have tried to sharpen these ones because they're not like normal pencil shavings. Um, they're made of something different. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but because it's different, sometimes if you sharpen MAC pencils and sharpeners that aren't like titanium blades, it can ruin the pencil. That's why this one's a little bit funky, you can see. Um, just a recommendation. There we go. Why is this not? There we go. I honestly think it's because my lips are so, so dry right now that it's giving me an issue. There we go. So a really easy way to to get like those lines going is to start a little low and kind of almost draw an X. Do you see that on your upper lip? And then I also normally fill in. Sorry, I started talking, then I stopped. I fudged down the bottom a little. Hold on. This is that, that lipstick video all over again. Okay. So when I do mine, I like to fill my lips in. This is not, if you've never really used lip liner, it's definitely not a requirement, but what I find that it helps do is it helps the lipstick to stick longer and last longer. And if you've ever had a problem with like, if you're eating or drinking while you're wearing a lipstick and it starts to wear, like in the center of your mouth, this can help disguise that problem a little bit. And what I mean is that like if you have this underlying lip liner to stick down as your lipstick wears, um, the lipstick does still wear off, but because your lips are a similar color underneath, it doesn't become so obvious. So that is the color for today. I really, really like this first color. I really, really like the way that this whole look comes together. I do find it a very classic look. Um, I love me a red lipstick. Don't get me wrong. I am excited to see all the other colors, but red is for sure my favorite. So that's going to be the first day of Vlogmas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of smoky eye tutorial. If you guys want to see more tutorials of things like this that I do sort of as everyday makeup rather than me more or less like showing you just palettes and stuff like that, please let me know. I'm happy to show you guys stuff. I am planning on trying to film another one, trying to do another halo eye. I've done one so far and I really, really liked it. I want to do one with more bronzy colors. If you guys are interested in that, I would love to film it for you guys. I will film it for Vlogmas. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.